I'm Lisa Allen Agostini, and I'm reading today for Alta Readings on the Web. And I'm reading today from my young adult novel, Home Home. This is the second edition of the book. The first edition was published by Papio Press and is still available online. It's a Caribbean edition and it was um, published by a Dominican publisher. Um, it's still available online and at paper-based bookshops and other outlets. This one has not yet come out. Uh, I think advanced copies may be available online and um, it's published by Delacorte Press. It's forthcoming in May or June this year. Fingers crossed. Anyway. So this book is about a Trinidadian girl who ends up um, living in Canada for a few months because she's been ill with mental illness and her mom has sent her away. So this is an excerpt. This is actually new writing. It's not in the Caribbean edition. This is in the Delacorte edition. I had a nervous breakdown. This is what I remember. I opened my eyes to a white fluorescent strip light. The bed below me was hard and narrow. I tried to turn, feeling the thin sheet sliding on the vanilla mattress cover, and reached out to push myself up. That's when I noticed I was wearing a strange gown and had an ivy drip in my arm. I looked around. Five other kids lay in railed beds like mine around the room mostly sleeping or playing on their phones. One was awake and looking at me. There was a giant yellow banana painted on the wall behind his bed. I guessed it was the children's ward of the hospital. It was day. I could see light through the windows in one wall, but I couldn't tell what time it was. My stomach burned like acid. I had a sore throat too. Banana kid heard me clearing it and took it as an invitation to chat. He asked, in a friendly, curious tone. Use the one who take tablets to kill yourself? I hear the nurses talking about you. I slumped back down and turned my face away. Luckily, I was in a corner. It was what I deserved anyway, to lie alone in a corner. I was alive. I didn't know how to feel about that. Should I be disappointed? Or relieved? Nursey! Banana killed, kid yelled. Look, the girl who said the tablets wake up. Outrageous, you rude little. I swung around to complain, but the words froze in my mouth when I noticed there was a counter by the doorway to the ward where two women in white sat doing paperwork. One of them, a chubby brown-skinned lady, sighed loudly and creaked to her feet. Her lack of amusement showed in her stiff neck. Hush! Hush, Clive, you feel because you live in here, you could ball out any old way? Have some behavior. After scolding him in a stage whisper, she said to me in a normal voice, Missy, how are we doing this morning? So it was morning then. Doctor is on his way, she said. So, he said nothing else, just, just looked at me. The junior doctors were like ghosts standing behind him. My hunger vanished, replaced by a jittery feeling. I wanted to cry. I was on the verge of ripping out the ivy and making a run for it when he finally spoke again. No smartphone, I see. Good. Keep it that way. Social media is terrible for you. So, young lady, I understand you took some tablets. 30 paracetamol. You took them last night? Why? I had nothing to say. The tears were qu quivering behind my lashes now, but they hadn't yet fallen. My world was a tight bubble of rage, pain, and shame. I felt dirty and pointless. You know that you could have hurt yourself. I closed my eyes. Of course I knew. That was the whole point. I would hurt myself until the pain stopped forever. The tears squeezed out and ran down my cheeks, but I didn't answer him. 
How could I explain the ache I felt inside, the torment that ripped me to pieces when I was alone? I hate myself. I think I deserve to be dead. The world would be a better place without me in it. Yeah, right, I could totally tell him that. He would completely get it. He waited still. Stubbornly, I remained silent. Finally, he said kindly, we will keep you under observation for a few days. The medication you took can cause permanent organ damage, so we'll watch to make sure that didn't happen. I want to talk to you about why you took the tablet. Did you mean to harm yourself? There it was, the big question. Crazy girl, were you trying to commit suicide when you swallowed a full bottle of your mother's painkillers? I opened my teary eyes and darted looks at the doctors and the ward behind them. Banana Kid leaned forward in his bed. The nurse raised an eyebrow and pursed her lips. I lay back, closed my eyes, and pretended to go to sleep. So anyway, that book, this book, <laughs> Home Home, by me, Lisa Allen Agatine, is available online and in Trinidad and Tobago at Paper Base Bookshop and possibly at Metropolitan Book Suppliers. Um, this new edition is coming out shortly and um, I hope you get it and check out the differences between the first edition and this. Okay.